good. Merry Christmas Eve. We're so glad you're here. We did a lot of Thursday video. Make sure you come back every day. Was that English? I'm half frozen, half asleep. And Merry Festivus to everybody else. Happy Saturday. Um, James and I are running a marathon of errands this morning, starting off with getting him a haircut. We're prioritizing him getting a haircut before Christmas. We're going to try to get me a haircut and Evie a haircut before uh, our Florida trip. And mommy a haircut. Oh, yeah, and Sarah a haircut. So James, we're doing, um, what is it? We're doing Barber, Michaels, Bodega, Jewel, all this morning. Sarah doesn't want to see you to see her because she looks like George Washington or <laughs> Lord Farquaad. <laughs> You gonna get me? Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas Eve? Is that what you're trying to say? Evie is still pretty sleepy, recovering after her busy two days. But she's about to get a bath. Is she falling asleep? And Teddy's about to get a bath. But of course I'm gonna I'm gonna let Eve rest as long as she needs to and I'll get Teddy in first. Okay, he's all clean. He's gonna hang out in the crib while I organize the boys' room, just so it can be another place for the kids to play tonight. It's looking like Christmas in here. Boom, ticka boom, ticka boom. What do we do with Miss Rachel on? James is playing with his toys with his Kevin McAllister vibe going. And uh, Sarah and Peter are only slightly freaking out about getting the place ready. Slightly freaking out about getting the place ready. Yeah, at least we have everything. Yeah. We'll be good. We just gotta do the floors. That's like my do the floors thing. and then give Teddy and Eve baths. Teddy got away. Oh, it wasn't marked off on the list. We have a joint notes list. Yeah, Evie needs bath. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a little stovetop potpourri. Started with four cups of water and two cups of cranberry. Orange slices from one orange. Already smells so good. And I have this on like regular heat right now. Eventually it'll simmer, but I think I bring it to a boil. What do you think? Decent shake of nutmeg. And then I did another decent shake of this pie spice. Just kind of like anything that would be in a pumpkin pie, just for a little extra kick. And then I'm gonna top it off with a couple of sprigs of rosemary. Sprigs a scientific term? Yes. Is that too much? Nope. And there it is. We're just gonna simmer that all night long. And now it is time for their last advent calendar openings. This is so good. It's just like not super sweet. It tastes more like a sparkling drink. So yeah, these things have been through it this month. James. Time for Advent. The last Advent of the season. What is it? Oh, 
cream. You want me to open this? Okay. Oh. Is it a cement mixer? Oh. Santa. Santa. <laughs> Santa's coming tonight, guys. What do you think? How am I supposed to continue getting ready? With this cute guy chilling with me. And I think Sarah fell asleep putting James out for a nap. Which we still have cleaning to do. And people are showing up in an hour and a half. I have to get food in 30 minutes. It's all fun. It's Christmas Eve. This is fun. We're in a blustery Loyola University going to I Dream of Falafel here to pick up our catering order because that's what we're doing with easy and fun. Not as traditional for us, but we're going to have like a more Italian traditional tomorrow, Christmas. Here we go. I got to dump these trays in the car and then I got to bring this back and buy some baklava. Teddy says, it's four o'clock. The party's supposed to start. It doesn't matter that my aunts and uncle and cousins aren't here. I'm starting the party and I'm eating some food. I just got back from getting the catered food from Adrian Falafel that's in the oven staying warm. Um, what, do you wanna come talk to? Sarah's getting ready, James is still snoozing. I think everybody is on their way here or just about to. Um, I'm so hungry, I don't think I've eaten a thing all day. We've got the Santa Claus on, Christmas tree lit. It smells fresh and Christmassy in here. We've got gifts under the trees for the nieces and nephews. <laughs> what are you two doing? Oh, did you have a good nap? Want to get on your fancy outfit? <laughs> what are you getting you? All right, I'm gonna get some stuff ready for fancy beverages, if you know me. I love a fancy beverage, especially for Christmas. So I just poured what we had left of that cranberry pop from Meyer in, and I'm gonna add some other juices for this one. In goes orange juice. Okay, how much is this? I made a mess. Um, half of this. I don't know, a decent amount of orange juice. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow here. And then goes pomegranate juice. I gotta do this from a different angle, hold on. A good amount, just not as much as the others. Top it off with this lemon ginger kombucha, again, just a little bit, um, to give it a little bit of ginger citrus flair. Give it a good mix and pop this one in the fridge. I did get myself all dolled up. Um, and now I'm going to make some candied cranberries and rosemary and probably, I don't know if I'm gonna candy the oranges or not, or just slice them up. Um, but fill this little dish with little things that you can add to your drink for fun, festive flair. I already threw some water in there, just a little bit, and then probably like half a cup of sugar, and I'm just gonna get that cooking and put the cranberries in there so they get nice and tacky. And we go the cranberries. James is in his Christmas Eve outfit. Look how cute he looks. See those pants? See those pants? Remember those pants. Teddy's in the jump by that matches. They're very busy watching Miss Rachel. Um, I think their Aunt Jenna is just like 10 minutes away and I think Aunt Christina and Grant and the cousins are Probably 25 minutes away, 30 minutes away. So Sarah's getting some fun stuff ready and we're just relaxing. Like now the relaxing part ends, even though we're hosting, um, the relaxing part ends. Alrighty, I'm not gonna candy the rosemary because our guests are going to be arriving soon and I just, I wanna, I wanna, I want them to be a certain way. So I'd rather, I'd rather just serve them classic. So here's some orange slices and the rosemary. Here's our little, drinky station. 
And then here are my cranberries. If you will notice, <laughs> there aren't as many as what I cooked. I cooked them for a little bit too long and they got mushy. So only cook them like in the little syrup for a little bit. So then I put brown sugar and sugar on them and I'm gonna put them in the freezer to get them nice and cool. Okay, I made my little sugar rim with the juice. I topped it with the pomegranate punch. An orange is in there, the candied cranberries, rosemary. Will you try it? try it? What is it? I don't even know. I didn't even try it yet. Dude, dude, I am not even going. Into, I'm just sitting here next to you. I'm not even doing anything. Look who is arrived. We gotta take some pictures Girl, before we'll, we'll the children, that. you know. Before Lucas strips off. <laughs> before they get, they party too hard. He's a gorgeous girl. Yay! Happy Yay, Susan! Yay, it's your first Christmas! Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me yeah, everybody manging, including the babies. Including the babies. Look at this. Check it out. The table. We got some Glumhein heating up. Look at this. All the food put away. And it's only 6.20. Time to do presents. What's your level of pull? About a uh, seven out of four madons. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna's playing Santa and we are gonna open presents. Oh my gosh. My sister's got us AirPods. Wow. Open it, James. There you go. I got it started for you. Wow. Come here. Luca. Oh my god. You're gonna love that one. James. Look at these. We're at the Children's Museum. Dude. And we were so happy because we knew that was coming so and you loved playing with them. Poppy oh. like just wants to become a present. So amazing. Aunt Jenna and Uncle you. Billy got the kids oh, these uh, James's exactly. names puzzles last year or two years ago. Huh? But we uh, lost pieces and Eve chewed on some so she got Teddy one and James a replacement. Mm -hmm. Evie and I are building these blocks. It's one of the greatest toys ever made. Get it, Evie, get it. Are there too many people in your space, Evie? Alrighty, I'm gonna show you some cookies. So my mom's sisters and some other family members on my mom's side, they partake in major cookie baking. It didn't work out with my schedule to be able to go, but Christina was gracious enough to bring some tonight and they're all really special and just take you back. I honestly don't even know what each one is called but just wanted to share their glory. These are these are where it's at. It is just one of those nights where you're like if my parents are here they would just be over the mood um, and I know they're here but holidays are great. Holidays are also really hard Before the cards go home, considering it's almost 10, Luca's been ready for about three hours. <laughs> He's got his toys. He will not like guys. 
Some sister card children will probably fall asleep on the way home. Daddy, We're gonna read the night before that. Christmas together. Yes, yes this was my mom's book. Are you ready? Can you sit with me? A visit from St. Nicholas. <gasps> wow. Okay, hey, listen, listen. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the All right, the cards went home. Oh my god. Jenna went home a little bit ago. We officially hosted our first Christmas Eve. Yeah. Took a couple years before anybody would let us. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I'm just so, so full. Oh. It was good that I'm so full in my heart, I'm full in my belly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we had so many different fancy drinks. That was I know. lovely. Katie's trying to take the camera so don't mind <laughs> the, the waddles. We gotta get these kids to bed. I'm gonna get the kids to bed. We gotta get ready for Santa to come. It's already mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, leave out some so cookies. And leave milk. out some, yeah, leave cookies and milk. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to sign off here. We hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely weekend. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.